Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in to another video of One Total Week, guys. So, last week we went ahead and added our volt alarm right here, or a little quick volt tester, and that's gonna be the tool that we added last week. So this week, what is it that, we, that we're gonna add? Well, in my opinion is, if you could afford it, I would go ahead and make the jump already, and that's gonna be a clamp meter so the first clamp meter that I'm gonna have is gonna be the fluke 324 true RMS clamp meter now as my previous video and the little volt tester right here you can tell fluke is a great brand I love it and I trust it so what comes in it it's gonna come in this little nice case right here uh, let's pull it out you're gonna have your meter these little wires and I'll explain it to a little bit and of course your lead wires right here your testers and like I said the case so this is gonna be the clamp meter of course it's called the clamp meter because you can put the wire or whatever wire and measure the amps coming out of it and get a good reading so this is gonna be of course the Fluke 324 True RMS now the price I am gonna start it off right now it's gonna be a hundred and sixty dollars and eighty seven cents on Amazon and at Home Depot I cannot find it so get this baby started the me it measures AC current or amps to 400 amps so that's gonna be the measurement that it's gonna withhold this meter uh, the next meter you'll see it's gonna be a little better well a lot better and then and an AC and DC voltage it's gonna vo it's gonna measure the voltage up to 600 volts for each one now on the resistance so we're gonna have the volts and let me tell you it's gonna be the one-handed design by fluke so you can rotate it if you could see right here with just one hand rotate it and it's meant for easy easy access also open up your clamp right here now the neat feature is you have three buttons right here of course you're gonna have F Fahrenheit Celsius AC and DC switch and then of course you're gonna have a light up light which is pretty neat I happen to like it a lot so turn it off turn it on we'll leave it on right now so of course the first setting you're gonna ha I have it on DC for volts and then the next one's gonna be switch it off with the AC DC switch and now we're gonna have AC volts uh, the next one is gonna be resistance or ohms and it's gonna come with an alarm of course let me connect my leads right here the two leads connection and if you can see or hear it it makes a nice little noise right there now the next one is gonna be microfarads and the microfarad resistance is gonna be up to 1000 microfarads which it's gonna read now the jaw opening measures current in conduction up to 30 millimeters or with other technicians or in interruption without interrupting circuits so the soft carrying case of course I mentioned now another neat feature that if you saw it was Fahrenheit and Celsius so this little puppy right here if you're a plumber or HVAC and you want to read some temperature settings you connect it right down here on the flute and it comes with it and now you're picking up temperature you set it on the temperature setting up here and as you can tell it's reading right now Celsius so we could go ahead and switch it and now we're gonna have Fahrenheit so if I put it on my camera right here it's dropping and if I put the glove hold it it's rising so I'm at 92 93 and going up so it's gonna be a therm thermometer also which I think it's pretty neat take it off and it says open it's no longer available and the last and final setting it's gonna be your amps AC so it's gonna be able to read your amps AC up to si up to 400 amps so this is gonna be the meter that I recommend and I think it's a great bargain to go with. It's gonna be have great features and you're gonna have to use it all the time if you're in HVAC, plumbing, uh, you're doing electric water heaters, so and so, or maybe some connecting some other wiring, pumps, anything that you could think of electrical, you're gonna need a clamp meter. I do recommend it. So if this isn't the one that's for you and you need something more beefier, then let's go ahead and get something more beefier so the next meter that I'm gonna have for you it's gonna be the fluke 376 true RMS clamp 
meter so this one's gonna come also with this little pouch right here a nice carrying pouch and then the price for this baby is gonna be uh four hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety cents yes it's on the high end but believe me you will be surprised on what it does so it's gonna come this and i'll explain that towards the end uh also your meter right here as you can tell i use it a lot and of course your leads so again it's gonna have the fluke uh one-handed slim slim carry so you can activate it with just one finger or i'm sorry one hand you can use it no need for using both hands or anything that's flukes theory right there and then on the ac current or amps to the jaw it's gonna go up to 999 amps so that's gonna be a great significant amount and also if you want to go even more than that you're gonna have the amps reading with iflex which is the last setting and that's where this baby's gonna come in and like i said i'll explain it towards the end the iflex is gonna go up to 2500 uh, amps reading on it so that's a huge amount compared to the little three two four so the next thing is you're gonna be able to read DC current up to 999 amps and also the voltage on it for DC and AC you're gonna be able to, to go 999.9 so it says 1000 volts but uh, the the actual reading is only gonna go to 999 so it's gonna have a min and max average right here for it so you can average out the difference in rush recording to captures variation of automatically also hertz reading up to 500 resistance up to six kilo ohms i'm sorry 60 kilo ohms uh, continuous detection and the microfarads up to 1000 microfarads so of course you're gonna have your first setting right here and it's gonna be AC volts and then we're gonna go to the next one right here and you're gonna have volts DC and then you could switch off to micro volts and then the next one is gonna be ohms again switch off to microfarads and then we're gonna have amps AC and then you could switch off to Hertz that way you could with your little clamp meter read it and then last you're also going to be able to read amps dc okay and then the last setting for this baby is going to be the iflex so the iflex is technically a connector that connects down here if you can see the little prongs it's going to be a different setup so this baby connects right here perfect now the 324 as you can tell does not have it it's just going to be your basic two connectors so set this baby up now what the iflex does it can measure amps up to this wide of wire so that's a huge wire that you can measure so if you need something more beefy this is great all it is is a little twist disconnects put it around your wire or if you're in a tight spot that your clamp meter doesn't fit or even if you want to get some distance from the wire you go ahead connect it walk away and you'll be able to read it so that's going to be the iflex setting for flute which is really neat and also it's going to have a hold button again this one also has the light up feature now the one thing it does not have is going to be the temperature setting and vice versa the 324 is not going to have the iflex so if you need more readings as far as 1000 volts or 2500 amps i would definitely recommend the 376 of course you're gonna pay for what you get and if y'all know fluke i love fluke and it's gonna be a great brand a trusted brand so that's gonna conclude my episode thanks for watching guys one tool a week guy uh this is what we went ahead and added on our segment of building our tool bag and i'm gonna take a pick from these two what i want and what we're gonna add and next segment uh stay tuned that way we can see what else we're gonna be adding to our tool bag thanks for watching one tool a week